Hi everyone, this message is for our beautiful Pisces. Pisces, I actually ran out of a lot of time and energy do, to try to do your life and love energy for the month of um, May. So what I'm going to do is do a little bit about your life and love energy, but I'm also going to do your extended mini love energy here in this video. And hopefully you guys can gain some type of clarity and understanding during this time for you when it comes to love and your personal life, okay? So Pisces, this is for Pisces, someone who rises in Venus and Pisces. This is for um, a Pisces man and the Pisces woman. All right, so let's get started. We're going to put out some guidance cards right now, and then we'll leave with more going on, okay? All right, so here we go, Pisces. So, wow, starting off, you guys got unconditional love. Wow, very beautiful card. I know the light is a little bright, so you guys may or may not. Okay, there we go. I think that's a good focus, right? All right, so there we have it, guys. Unconditional love. Love yourself and other people, no matter what the situation or the outward appearances may be. I know that times have been a bit challenging lately, but things seem like it's going to improve um, right after that full moon in Scorpio, which is going to happen around the 7th or 8th, give or take a day. Um, some type of clarity is going to come to you or kind of like an aha moment is going to happen for you. Okay, your own planet Neptune is really, really having people on this whole... Um, you know, this dream state energy, you know, and not only that, but it's teaching us to have compassion for other people. You know, Neptune is really doing its thing right now in the cosmos. So <laughs> be thankful for that, that you had that extra boost this season to kind of rebuild your partnerships and to rebuild your self-esteem. All right. Sensitivity. So, yes, you are becoming increasingly sensitive. So, it is definitely, again, working on those quality relationships, working on your partnerships with other people, making sure that, you know, we're being kind-hearted but not being taken advantage of, okay? That is key. Pisces, I don't know if, you know, exactly how many of you guys follow me, but I do know that for the past few months, your energy has been saying that. I don't know who this is around you, but we're going to get to that really soon, Okay. Be very careful about who you are giving your energy to and what you are giving your energy to, okay? Be strong. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love this for you, Pisces. Be strong. Don't let no one take advantage of you. Don't let no one try to manipulate you. You are a lot stronger than you think you are, okay? And your strength definitely assures a happy outcome. So again, right after the 7th or 8th, sometime like by the second week of May, clarity is definitely going to be like boom. Like there's going to be some epiphanies, um, some type of dreams that kind of resurface. Maybe you had this dream like a long time ago. Maybe you had this dream like a week ago. But something is going to kind of come back and like remind you of something or show you something. And that is where you be like, oh my God, like this is crazy. Why do I keep having these weird dreams that half the time don't even make any sense like i don't even know what's going on yeah pay close attention i also recommend pisces that you write things down okay write things down don't just brush it off and be like okay this is crazy i don't know you know this don't sound right that that was weird it's strange and then brush it off don't do that pisces I strongly recommend that you write things down. If something really don't make sense to you and you keep having this dream about this particular person or this particular situation, okay, it's really important that we pay attention to the details of things this season, okay? May is a planet of retrogrades, okay? And so we know that Jupiter is going to go retrograde in Capricorn. Pluto is going to go retrograde in Capricorn. Pluto is the planet that represents us um, healing, you know, or healing from those internal fears or things that kind of hold us back, you know. Pluto is saying, you can do this, you know, you can get through this. Now, I'm going to teach you how. That is what Pluto doing. Pluto is like pushing us, you know. And Jupiter, Jupiter is all about expansion. But being in a sign like Capricorn, we want expansion, but we want to be practical about it. We are going after our goals. We are more determined now more than ever. But because these things are going retrograde, like Jupiter is going retrograde, and so it's Pluto going retrograde in Capricorn. And when you have these planets, um, like huge planets like this in a sign like Capricorn, you're going to be determined to get the answers out of people. Okay, and with the full moon in Scorpio, it's not helping. And then you are one of the most intuitive zodiac signs that I know, Pisces. So 
Woo! When I say epiphanies are going to be coming like no other, you are not taking no for an answer. Things that don't make sense to you, you will be questioning. You will be determined to make sense out of something, okay? Capricorns, are, they don't dream a lot. You know, they are more methodical and practical in their approach. Very serious-like, you know, very goal-oriented, very sturdy and stable-minded. So instead of being like in a dream state mind like most of the zodiac signs, you, on the other hand, will be like, no, something is not right about this. Like, I have a gut feeling about this. You know, like, you'll be more, um, like I said, sensitive. <laughs> you'll definitely be more in tune with your emotions, Pisces. So pay attention to that. It's not nothing to be afraid of, but just more to be, like, aware, okay? Um, great. So now that we got that out the way, <laughs> let's see um, your love cards, okay? So I have these beautiful love cards, okay? I actually fell in love with them. They're amazing. I used it last season, and it really was amazing. It was dead on. I know for me, it was dead on. For some of my friends, it was dead on. So I really loved how it presented itself, and I had to bring it back. So let's do it, Pisces. Let's see who this person is or what their situation is, especially when it comes to your love life or your career, okay? It could be a romance that's happening within your career. Who knows? Okay, well, you would know, right? <laughs> oh, boy. So let's see what's going on, Pisces. Don't lose hope. I just heard that. Don't lose hope. Like I said, this with this being unconditional love and sensitivity... I feel like you guys are going to be fighting for something this season. So this is really, really interesting. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Horizon, or Venus and Pisces, overall love energy for the month of May, 2020. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have some twin flame energy here, okay? We have self-indulgence, Okay. Focus on self, your self-worth. As I said in the very beginning, practice that unconditional love. Not just on other people, but also within yourself. Increasing your self-esteem, you know, making your relationships better, increasing your wealth, increasing your health, you know, getting that clarity about what's really needed in this relationship, what's really needed in your life, being more clear-headed, finding out the mysteries of it all. And with the full moon of Scorpio, we have every right to do that. Guys, and also keep in mind, you know, not to babble all over the place, but just to throw it out there, you know, Venus is also going to go retrograde in the sign of Gemini. And normally, this is very flirty, funny, charismatic energy, right? But when it goes retrograde, it's asking us to question, okay, is this relationship the right thing for me? Okay, wow, am I really in love with them? I will tell you though, guys, this is not the right time to kind of try to break up with someone or to try to jump into a new relationship. I will say that. So if you are single and you're dating and you're mingling and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? But I wouldn't get too, too serious at this point. I wouldn't take it too, too serious right now. I will wait until about the third week of May and then... You know, like I said, clarity is going to hit you better around the second week of May. But going into that third week is always 10 times better to give yourself some extra time, okay? So self-indulgence, you know, self-appreciation. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with practicing that unconditional love. So it definitely doesn't surprise me that it came out right under this, okay? Wow, when it comes so when it comes to sensitivity, okay, it seemed like um, there has been a separation that may be now a reconciliation. Um, somebody is either missing you or thinking about you, yearning for you, okay? But somebody is like, oh my God, I don't want to separate, you know? But some of you could be literally walking away from this relationship or this person could have possibly done it to you, okay? Maybe last season a lot of you were like, you know what, I can't do this. I'm, I don't know, this is for me, right? But now a lot of this, this person is really, really trying to like come back. You know, and like I said, because it came right out right under sensitivity and avoiding hard relate harsh relationships and environments and situations, maybe this is time to think, you know, okay, maybe this relationship is too toxic for me. You know, it's like it's hurting me. Every time I turn around, I have to cry or I'm getting upset. I feel like I can't trust this person too much. Or maybe this person is feeling this about you. 
okay? But it could also be you missing this person. You could be the one reaching out. Maybe they feel like the relationship is toxic. It could be a mutual agreement. Like I said, I do sense twin flame energy here, especially uh, with the chaser card here, okay? Somebody is being the chaser. Somebody is being the runner, okay? It's always like that in a twin flame union. Always. It's always going to be you chasing and them running or them chasing you and you're running, okay? Um... So, yeah, you are stronger than you think you are. So, it's no need, you know, like I said, if you feel like you want to reconcile with this person, I mean, marriage um, therapy is always available. You know, I mean, I'm sure with everything that's been going on lately, it's probably, it must have been hard, you know, trying to build on your relationship or save your marriage and things is like all over the place in the universe right now, okay? But there's a blessing in here that is that you need to pay attention to. And again, those are going to come to you during those dreams and those classic moments that you really, really don't have, like, not really been paying attention to, okay? So, codependent relationship, okay? Fear of abandonment issues. Work through your issues, my love. Like I said, you are stronger than you think you are, Okay? You are stronger than you think you are. Your strength is going to make you happy. Your strength is going to reassure you and make you realize like, hey, I do have it all. You know, I am beautiful. I am powerful. You know, I can save my money. I can be amazing. You know, and it may not even, if this is not a love situation, then for a lot of you, this could be more of a personal situation, something that has, um happens or that will happen that may cause like a little not like a I, want, I don't want to say divorce but i would just say like just a mild separation so if this did not already happen to you in the month of april then this will definitely happen to you in the month of may where there can definitely be some sense of separation and it doesn't mean like oh i'm gonna pack my stuff and leave the house no it could just mean you know i'm gonna go sleep downstairs or i'm gonna go sleep in the living room I'm going to go to my mom's house or I'm going to go, you know, visit my family for a while. Like, it's going to be that type of thing. So, it may not even be like a harsh breakup, but it just may be like it's so much going on that you really feel like you need to isolate yourself for a while. And it's nothing wrong with that. So, don't allow anyone to make you feel um, guilty for needing to, like, get away for a while, you know? So, let's look into some overall guidance for you, my love, when it comes to your life energy and your love energy. Sorry, guys. My ear is, like, ringing as always. <sighs> Sorry, because when it first happened, it was, like, like really piercing. And I was like, oh, my God. And it's still there, but it's not as loud. All right, so, Pisces, here we go. This is for Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising on Venus and Pisces. Thank you, spirit and guys, for showing us what we need to know for our beautiful Pisces a lot of our archangels and all of our guardian angels i love this deck guys i had this deck for some years now i haven't used it in a while and i started to use it again last month and once again you know it, it just never fails me you know between the guidance from spirit and just god alone it really really did kind of uplift like me in a huge way so i really do love this deck tremendously um, this is Angel Answers. It's a beautiful deck, guys. It really is. All right, so let's see our beautiful Pisces. Someone arrives on Venus and Pisces. This is for Pisces man and the Pisces woman. Pisces, you got to make up your mind. A lot of you have been in a relationship for a really long time now, and you've been playing all... A lot of you have been playing... Not all of you, but... <laughs> No more mind games, you know, like don't just be trying to like um, playing hard to get or giving a person a hard time or, you know, acting like you don't want them or not paying attention to them. Being so, And that's probably what the self-intelligence thing is about too. Don't be so self-absorbed, guys. Like don't be so into yourself that you don't see this other person, okay? Wow. Some of you, not all of you, but some of you been doing that. You've really been, like, manipulating this person because you know that they have suffered through a lot of insecurities. And, you know, and it's a sad thing, guys. We shouldn't do that to people that we love, you know, especially not people that we are in love with. We should not do that. That's not cool. All right, so let's go, Pisces. I already pre-shuffled. I don't know why I'm doing all this. Okay. 
okay so maybe you guys will get back in the near future you know like i said as you work on yourself and your goals and things that you would like to accomplish maybe those things will work out after all maybe just not right the second you know so maybe that could be some things that and this if this is about a career okay a particular field that you would like to work in the spirit is saying in the near future okay that certificate going back to school whatever that plan was or that goal was financially or personally or even emotionally Sometime in the near future, you'll definitely either receive some type of yes, some type of um, clarity about what you want to do. All right. So there's something better. You know, look. Wow. So for some of you, you are taking a, you know, a hint. <laughs> some of you are saying, ah, I'm good. You know, I understand you love me. I understand I've been hurting you or you've been hurting me. Like, yeah, there's definitely something better out there for you. Okay, again, guys, for some of you, this is going to be about love. For some of you, this may not have nothing to do with love at all. Okay, this could be just simply about your career, feeling really sensitive lately, like you can't do this anymore, separating yourself from the job itself. Okay, and it could be separating yourself from a job that you really love, you know. So when I do love readings especially, I want you guys to know that it, is, it does not always have to be romance, okay. It can literally just be about love, okay. The things that we care for, the things our values, you know, things that we really yearn for. But there's something better for you. Spirit has a better plan, my love. That's why it's saying in the near future is going to happen. A year from now. So, woo, at least we got an actual timeline. Now, this is good. This is what I consider confirmation. <laughs> okay? So, in the near future, because Spirit has something better for you, my love. A year from now. A year from now. Okay? Look how beautiful that is. A year from now. Like Spirit says, my love, you are a lot stronger than you think you are. You are in like this comic, comic soulful type of relationship. And it could be a soulmate relationship, like a comic soulmate relationship, or it could be a twin flame connection. But there's something really powerful between you two. And sometimes, you know, things fall apart so great that things can fall together. That is one of my best phrases ever, best quotes ever, because it is so true. You know, you might feel like, hey, you know, it is what it is. You know, we had our life together. I've been at this job for 10 years. You know, we've been together for 13 years, but it just isn't working anymore. It's okay. You know, you got people that have been friends for 30 years and just, it just, sometimes things just got to separate. You know, and it's not saying there's going to be an easy transition. It's not saying that it's not going to hurt. That's not what this is saying. This is saying that you are strong enough to get through this, Pisces. So I need you to believe that, okay? So Pisces, I love you, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please show me some love. Hit them hearts. Well, not hearts. <laughs> this ain't Facebook. <laughs> Hit that like button, okay? And that share button. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Listen, I have some amazing candles. Mm, you guys can't smell it. But this candle literally has every zodiac symbol on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. Okay. It has every zodiac symbol on it. Okay. This is um, not necessarily on my website just yet, but it will be by the end of May. All right. And I have 13 different scents. My candle line is called Passion versus Pleasure. Okay, guys, you got to check it out. I will be uploading more videos about my candles soon. But check out the other one that I put up there, okay? Making candles, welcome to my line, that type of thing, okay? And I love you guys. And if you want to check out my chakra bracelets, now these you can definitely find on my website at g1insights.org, okay? I do handcraft all of these things by myself. So please check me out, guys, all right? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? I'll see you guys next season. Be good to yourself. Bye.